Hello, Show Me Chef today is going to show you how to make a Caesar dressing. Show me chef. Show me the chef. Show me, show me, show me. Chef. Show me. Show me. Show me. Chef. Okay, for the Caesar dressing, you need a number of ingredients. You're going to need anchovy fillets, tinned, lemon, fresh parmesan, unshaved or shaved. I have some sea salt. I have four egg yolks. I have six whole eggs, free range. I have 750 mils of vegetable oil, which is a neutral base oil, not like an olive oil, which will be bitter and flavoured and sharp. I have pepper, and I have a white wine vinegar. I learned this little trick off a, a Dutch chef I used to work with. You need boiled eggs to finish the dressing. It gives it a nice creamy consistency and also binds to the lettuce and dresses it better than rather than an oil-based dressing that will tend to wash off or drip off the salad. The boiled egg acts as a nice creamy binding agent. So cover your cold eggs in cold water. So that's a cold water start and it's four and a half minutes from that boil and that'll give us a nice medium yolk, not a soft and not a hard. It is an emulsion sauce, so it is a mayonnaise base. So emulsion means that you know, it stays together, it doesn't separate. So the liquid and the oil stay together and that is our emulsion. So it's a permanent emulsion. Mayonnaise base, and how we make it Caesar is we put anchovies, a bit of garlic, um, parmesan in there. Into this robo coop, you can do it a number of ways. You can do it you know, in a bowl with a whisk. That's a bit of a home style. Now if you're looking for a larger quantity or an easier method, you'd do it in a robo coop or a food processor. So into here goes my four egg yolks. Good pinch of sea salt. I have my white wine vinegar. One tablespoon. Two tablespoons. Three tablespoons. You do want it to be a little acidic because it is a salad dressing and you do want that acid, you know, it's good contrast to your fresh green. So in here I have my egg yolks, salt, vinegar, and Dijon mustard is a very vital ingredient. I did forget to mention that on our ingredients list. It was hiding behind the lemon, but a tablespoon of uh, Dijon into this quantity, that helps bond the liquid to the fat, so it's a very essential ingredient. Dijon mustard, one tablespoon. Straight onto there goes the lid. I'm just gonna power that up. I'm going to create a nice, light, fluffy sort of sabion thing. You, at the start, it's like a water consistency. And as that whisks and blends, it'll get a lot lighter in colour and a lot lighter in consistency. Fluffy. So it's getting very light and fluffy at this stage. So I'll just turn it up and give you a look in there. See, as I said, it looked like water at the start. Now it's nice and light, almost like a cream. So we'll continue with that. Lighten texture, I can slowly add my oil. Now I'm not going to pour it in really fast, otherwise it might split. So be very careful with the speed you add it. My, oil, my eggs have just started to boil, so I've got time four and a half minutes. So gradually add your oil. Process, you'll notice that when you're adding the oil, it'll, it'll get really thick all of a sudden. And at that stage, you need to add some warm water. That'll help dilute it and it also help stabilize it. Okay, it's very important that we stabilize that so it doesn't split. I'm adding at this stage probably five tablespoons. Which is around 100 milliliters. And I can continue to add my oil. So about 100 mils of warm water I put into that. Sounds like a fair bit, but it worked. So we've combined all our oil into our savio and we've basically got a mayonnaise there, if you can see into there. It is a white, thick, substance. Now we're going to turn it into Caesar, right? We're going to add our finely grated parmesan, some black pepper, some medium boiled eggs, and a little freshness of lemon at the end. 
and also some anchovies which are our little beautiful oily fish. Now, generally I would have put those in at the start with the sabion to get it nice and blended through. So I'll admit that I did stuff up. So I will have to just mash them up with a knife just so it goes through nice and consistently. So, so I'm mashing up like six anchovy there, six anchovy fillets. They go into there. I've got a half a lemon. I've got my boiled eggs. And I've got my parmesan now. I use about 50 to 100 grams of this, whatever you like. If you like it cheesy, hammer it in there. If you don't like it so cheesy, don't hammer it in there. So just with the microplane or the fine side of your grater. You want it fine as possible because you don't want to have that gritty or those hard shavings of palms and it's nice and light. So a microplane or a really light press on the fine side of your grater. So this is like powder almost. Nothing goes in there. Fresh cracked pepper, nice and fine, not too chunky. Lid on, and let's just blend that up nice and smooth so we have a beautiful Caesar salad. It's always stress. It's very important that you taste the food, so just taste it. Does it need to be seasoned? That's the question. The salt is just going to bring that up a little bit, and a little bit more acid. It's not going to hurt. Don't get carried away. Doesn't need to be much. That's going to be hunky dory. And obviously, show me chef, we'll show you later how to do the chicken Caesar salad using this beautiful Caesar dressing.